Hi, this is Yuri JPY and today it's Monday 26th of January 2015 and the time is 15.29 GMT. I'm Sofia Stavropoulou and this is a video signal for Forex ID Academy members, FXholics, Forex Inkelas apps users and WhatsApp signal subscribers. I'm using the Timoku Kinko Hill, Bollinger Bands, Fractals and Stochastics. I apologize for the hoarseness of my voice because of a cold I had the last few days. Uh, so I'm using the, this is the H4 time frame of the pair. We see that everything is bearish and the median Bollinger Band is bearish too, it's going downwards. So wait patiently for this correction that has already started to end in order to enter short to sell. So the possible scenarios are that the price will make, will go up uh, crossing a bit above the median Bollinger Band and forming a swing high above it and then reversing and continuing its fall. A swing high abo above the median Bollinger Band is a bearish continuation pattern. So if you see the swing high confirmed by a bearish candlestick closing um, lower than the bullish one that crossed above medium Bollinger Band, you can enter short. Alternatively, you can wait for a confirmation from a bearish price 10 can send cross, which may happen a few pips lower. Uh, the second scenario is that the price goes all the way up to the upper Bollinger Band on H4 and then it reverses from there. Um, in that case, use as your short entry criterion a bearish price Tenkan Sen cross with Tenkan Sen being curved, sloping or angled downwards. I will, um, I will give you this signal assuming, because we can never be certain, assuming that the first scenario will be in play. So. Uh, wait patiently till you see the price interaction with the medium Bollinger Band and once it is finished, end the short in case of a swing high or, or a, a bearish price and can send cross, place your stop loss uh, <coughs> at the highest point of the lower border of the Kumo at 136.61 price level. Uh, your entry, your short entry should be at the price level, let me insert a line here, <coughs> where, Tenka, where Kijensen currently is at 133.91. Uh, so um, one rule is to stay in uh, while the candlesticks on H4, because this is the time frame where we are, uh, where the candlesticks uh, close below Tenkan Sen, the red line of Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, and exit when you see a bullish crossover of the stochastics. That means the green line, the fast stochastic, crossing above the red line, the slow stochastic. The other way <coughs> to look at it, let me see if we can actually place. No, it looks like uh, the beginning of a reversal. Uh, we will see if it is a true reversal or just a correction. So um, in case you see the swing high above the medium Bolger band and the bearish cross with Tenkan Sen, sell and stay in while the candlesticks on H4 close below Tenkan Sen. Otherwise, uh, if you uh, see a reversal uh, near the upper Bollinger Band, sell when you see a bearish price then can send cross from there, place your stop loss a few pips, 20-30 uh, pips above the upper border of the Kumo and use the same stay in rule. Uh, while the candlesticks close below Tenkan Sen, stay in and exit with the bullish crossover of the stochastics. In order to be positioned long to buy, wait for a bullish Kumo breakout validated by Chiku Span, the green line of Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, which must go above past price action and above the Kumo. A strong bullish Kumo breakout would happen at 138.28 price level. 138.28. Thanks for watching and happy pips.